Welcome back our dear viewers. Um, indeed a very important uh, visit to Egypt by Polish uh, President. Uh, he was received yesterday by President Abdel Fattah Sisi. Many issues of mutual concern were discussed during the uh, meetings uh, of uh, both uh, leaders as well as the signing of uh, many agreements and many memoranda of understanding between both Cairo and Warsaw. To shed more light on the importance of these agreements, the talks and the visit by the Polish President to Egypt as well as his invitation for President Abdel Fattah Sisi to visit to Warsaw. We are very much delighted to be joined over the phone by Ambassador Gamal Bayoumi, former Assistant Foreign Minister. Good morning, Mr. Ambassador. Good morning, how are you? How are you, sir? Ambassador Bayoumi, the importance of this visit by the Polish President to Egypt and the topics of uh, mutual concern that were discussed between both leaders yesterday. What's your take on that? It is very important with one of the oldest relations of the Egyptian diplomacy. Yeah. More, almost 100 years now. Mm. And uh, Poland was always a good partner when it was a part of the uh, Eastern Bloc. By then, they mm. were the largest uh, partner in our trade. Yes. Then the collapse of the Soviet Union, the collapse of the Eastern uh, Bloc and the Warsaw Pact yes. made a big change. Mm. So the European Union became our, um, our first partner. And our relations with this Bloc of the world mm. was a little bit diminished. Now with Warsaw, with Poland, uh, very active, a member of the free economy of the world, now we, we discover that we can bring back mm. this sort of relations and come back to this very important market to us, mm. especially that after Egypt concluded the agreement of the association agreement with Europe, mm. uh, Poland also became a member in the EU. Mm. So the trade between us is covered by this association agreement, which is establishing a free trade area. Uh, our trade is exempted from any custom duties or any trade barrier. So our uh, exports to this part of the world became our largest area mm. by uh, four times, if you compare it with uh, before two, uh, the year 2000. Mm. And uh, of course we can even deepening and widening this sort of relations in many hmm. uh, directions. That's why we see this sort of uh, visit for the first time since long time. And uh, according to what the, the, our two leaders declared, hmm. they are keen to uh, go further in new areas to develop our relations in uh, economic cooperation and trade and uh, 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 even in some political areas, such as what the uh, uh, president of Poland mentioned, to support Egypt in its uh, case concerning the water of the Blue Nile, and so on. every single uh, uh, case which we are interested to mm. discuss, it was on the table between the two presidents. Yes. Uh, Mr. Ambassador, the head of state said the talks focused on cooperation in various economic fields such as digital transformation, tourism, yeah. as well as increasing the trade exchange between uh, both countries. How do you see these fields of cooperation between both uh, countries from your point of view? And what more should be done to have more fields of cooperation uh, between both countries, uh, Mr. Ambassador? This is what we expect because uh, the Egyptian diplomacy, as you well know, depends on many weapons. The first mm. weapon is ambassadors. Mm. The, the most important, uh, another important uh, weapon is the ministerial level. Now we have the top level, which is the uh, uh, presidential uh, level, mm. where each president is sitting, talking to his colleague, mm. with uh, eight ministers behind him. So anything interesting to us, is on the table, they discuss it, they take uh, immediate decisions 
and immediate implementation of what they decide. This is a very effective diplomacy, and uh, I am uh, so optimistic if I see such a meeting, it means that more and more uh, opportunities and chances for our economy, for our young generation to find new jobs, mm. for our tourism, and the president of Poland mentioned that we have uh, this right moment 300,000 yeah. uh, Polish uh, tourists. Uh, we have a, a very eminent Egyptian community in Europe, yeah. more than one million Egyptians in Europe. They enjoy even in Poland uh, special treatment. Mm. So the, the 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 sky is the limit, and it depends totally on how we can manage such good relations. Yes, uh, as part of the visit uh, by the Polish President Andrzej Duda to Cairo, President Abdel Fattah Sisi and uh, the Polish uh, counterpart attending the signing ceremony of several cooperation agreements and memoranda of understanding. The agreements included uh, the fields of international cooperation, agricultural uh, researches, sports, as well as the diplomatic affairs. How do you see these uh, fields of cooperation and the agreements that were signed and the memoranda of understanding that uh, were signed yesterday with the attendance of both leaders, uh, Mr. Abbas? This is another uh, important dimension. And mm. uh, as you will know, we, we are enjoying... Uh, the economic cooperation in all fields with the European Union in general, and they finance uh, what we call support to the Egyptian institutions. Uh, name it. I, I, I personally was managing one of those projects, yeah. and we supported 360 uh, institutions, maritime safety, mm. the post, tourism, uh, railways, roads, uh, environment, yeah. many things we can cooperate. Now we come to a special case, which is the research in the field of agriculture. Yeah. It is very important also because agriculture is very important to us, especially now with uh, uh, some problems uh, mm. caused from the war in Ukraine, that we, the supplies of food is uh, affected by this war. So. We can, of course, depend on our foreign relations. Yes. We can depend also on uh, producing our own food with the help of our experts, whether Egyptians or mm. from friendly countries. This is another dimension of such an issue. Yes, uh, Mr. Ambassador, also the issue of combating terrorism as well as the issue of illegal immigration uh, were discussed between uh, uh, both leaders yesterday in their meeting. How do you see uh, the efforts exerted uh, till this moment uh, in order to contain uh, these uh, files? Egypt is committed legally with mm. many agreements, whether on the international level or the bilateral level or the regional level. Mm. On the regional level, we are committed of, uh, uh, with the association agreement with you mm. that we have to combat all the organized crime. Yeah. It's not only uh, illegal migration, but drug trafficking, uh, money laundering, uh, terrorism, and illegal migration, of course. Mm. So we, we are committed. And by the way, Egypt is well uh, received by uh, the mm. Europeans, they, they, they always uh, say that Egypt is doing its best concerning uh, the, the problem of the illegal migration, and never Egypt was a source or a bridge yes. for illegal movement of migration. Yes. Finally, sir, the issue of the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam and the shares of Egypt uh, was discussed also yesterday. How do you see here this file and the developments concerning the uh, Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam and Egypt's share of the Nile water? As a matter of fact, in my humble opinion, this is a, a totally a political and security mm -hmm. problem. Yes. It's not technical at all. I think if you study quite well the technical uh, dimension of this question, uh, you will be very satisfied that one day it will take uh, its place for solution. Mm. But we need a, a political effort and even some uh, uh, efforts mm. in order to convince 
the uh, Ethiopian government that this is not the way to treat its neighbors. And I think the, the European Union in general yeah. and Poland now uh, are uh, in good knowledge about our position. And uh, it, uh, the president yesterday of Poland declared that they will uh, do their, their best and they are keen to help Egypt and Sudan and Ethiopia to come to uh, a satisfactory uh, agreement. I am optimistic in this point, also, still we are uh, in the middle of the road towards a good solution. Indeed. Ambassador Gamal Lebayumi, former Assistant Foreign Minister, always a pleasure to listen to your precious input, sir. Have a lovely day. Our dear viewers, with that, we come to the end of this edition of uh, The Breakfast Show, coming to you live here from our studios in Malta International. You are in the company of my dear colleague, Mohamed Abdel Rahim, and myself, Maestri Rabia. We are both uh, signing off till tomorrow with another quick goodbye and have a lovely day. Many thanks for watching.